more than 3,000 years ago, a man named Job complained to God about all his troubles. And the Bible tells us that God answered, Do you give the horse his strength? Or clothe his neck with a flowing mane? Do you make him leap like a locust, striking terror with his proud snorting? He paws fiercely, rejoicing in his strength, and charges into the fray. He laughs at fear, afraid of nothing. He does not shy away from the sword. The quiver rattles against his side, along with the flashing spear and lance. In frenzied excitement, he eats up the ground. He cannot stand still when the trumpet sounds. That dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible, that some of you already know that it's hard, it's not easy. It's hard changing your life. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. The people that are living their dream are finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams are the people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And even though you face disappointments, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. No matter how bad it is, or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. When you become who you are, when you become the person that you were created to be, designed to be who you were designed to be, if you still talk about your dream, if you still talk about your goal, but you have not done anything, just take the first step. That you can make your parents proud, you can make your school proud, you can touch millions of people's lives, and the world will never be the same again because you came this way. Don't let nobody steal your dream. But you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. You can live your dreams.